Hi, I'm Bill from CJ Pony Parts. If you're getting noise from the front suspension of your 2005 to 2010 Mustang GT or V6, especially when you're hitting bumps or going into drivers or making off camber turns, many times the culprit is a worn out strut mount. The strut mount shown here, basically what it does, it mounts the strut of your car to the strut tower. These have ball bearings inside and move freely so they don't damage the suspension when you're moving. The problem is over time the bearings inside can dry out and cause damage and make a lot of noise when you're hitting bumps. This is a very easy fix. Thanks to Ford Racing's GT500 strut mounts, we're going to be a direct replacement for your 2005, 2010 V6 or GT. Today we're going to install a set on this 2006 Mustang GT. These Ford Racing strut mounts are another case where a GT500 part is an excellent upgrade for your GT or V6. These can use a larger durometer heavy duty bushing, which will be much stronger than the factory style strut mounts. These will fit your 2005 to 2010 Mustang GT or V6. They'll also fit an 11 through 14 if you use an 05 through 10 strut. The spring is going to mount right here to this perch. The strut then will go through the center. This is the reason you have to use a 2005 to 2010 strut. If you have 11 through 14, this diameter is going to be large and it won't fit properly into the strut mount. For this installation, you'll need a lift and a pull jack or a jack and jack stands, half inch impact gun, half inch ratchet, 3 8 ratchet, 22 millimeter socket, 21 millimeter socket, 18 millimeter socket, 15 millimeter socket, 13 millimeter socket, 10 millimeter socket, 5 16 socket, 18 millimeter wrench, channel locks, and a spring compressor. The first step, the installation is going to remove the original strut from the car. We're going to start up here on the strut tower by removing three of the four bolts and loosening the fourth. We're going to start by removing the sway bar end link. Once the sway bar is off, we'll remove the brake hose bracket. Once the brake line is loose, we're going to remove the clip for the ABS line underneath it. Now these out of the way, we can move these nuts here. They're going to hold our strut to our spindle. Now the strut disconnected, we're going to actually hook up our spindle to the frame just to keep it supported so all the weight's not on our brake hose and our ball joint. Move back up top, remove the last nut so we can remove our strut. Now we're going to compress the spring so we can remove our strut mount. You can even see as we took it apart, a few of the bearings fell out of our strut mounts, proving they are shot and ready to be replaced. Now we're going to install our new GT500 Ford Racing strut mounts. Make sure the spring is seated properly and install the nut. Now we're going to decompress the spring. Make sure as you're doing this, the spring is seated in the right location on top and bottom. Our assembly is ready to go back on the car. Now we're going to reinstall the assembly. You want to make sure the arrow on top of the strut mount is facing outward towards the fender. Put the two outside nuts on just to hold it in place for now. Move back to the wheel well. Now we're going to line the spindle back up with the new strut.
Going to reinstall the brake hose onto our new strut. I'm going to clip the ABS line back on. And the last step is to reinstall the sway bar. We're finished down here, move back up to the engine bay. Now we can tighten down the nuts that hold the strut tower. Now we'll repeat the process on the other side and your installation is finished. The Ford Racing GT500 strut mount is going to be an excellent upgrade for any 2005 to 2010 Mustang, regardless of suspension modifications. They'll be a lot less prone to wear than the originals. You won't have that annoying clunk going up in the driveways. The installation is pretty straightforward. Take you around two hours, you'll be back on the road in no time.